Morning guys, I've just um, actually moved house and I've moved all of my plants across um, from the other place, all my potted plants and a few people have been asking me about doing an update on how my tropicals are going um, and the tropicals in general, not too crash hot, I'll do a full video on that at some point, um, some of them sadly even those that looked well coming out at the end of winter uh, <laughs> they didn't actually pull through at all, which is which is sad. But today I was just uh, watering everything, and I wanted to show you one plant that's actually surprised me quite a lot. This plant here is an anona, like some of the tropicals, um, but it is one of the cold tolerant ones. It's the American pawpaw. Now, I have shown the American pawpaw before. Um, very briefly in one of my first videos, but I haven't really talked about it And I actually have a fair few of these this one here is a little seedling And I just wanted to show you this one in particular though, even though it looks pretty sad and, and horrible um, I wanted to show you how interestingly tough these little guys are so This is an American pawpaw This is the one of the ones that I showed you that came from Yamina rare plants um, in Victoria It's uh, starting to put on uh, new growth it was dormant for quite a while one of them even had a little flower on it you can see this flower here uh, which might even end up fruiting I don't know if I can get that to focus for you but that might even end up fruiting I don't know so that's uh, another pawpaw I have another American pawpaw here from dahlias but another thing that I did last year in around I don't know maybe January maybe December I don't remember is I planted some pawpaw seeds now these pawpaw seeds, these pawpaw seeds actually took a very long time to germinate but in the end, they were very hard to find as well, but I found some and in the end I got nearly 100% germination of these and you can see I planted a whole bunch of seeds in a single pot just expecting maybe one or two would come up and then a bunch came up. So I have pawpaw seedlings. These ones I've just repotted today. And when I was repotting these seedlings, I noticed something very, very interesting. They are extremely, extremely abuse tolerant. Um, these pots here have been fine. You can see that these, these seedlings, although they're planted at the same size, are a lot bigger and healthier than, um, uh, these are bigger and healthier than these ones in here. And the reason why was this pot was kept a lot neater and tidier. These were in these little tiny pots. I can find one of the little tiny pots. I, I had them in micro, I don't even have an example anymore. I got rid of them. I had them in little tiny pots just to uh, hope that they would seed and then they all kind of came up and, and I, I, I repotted these ones today. And some of them I was like, do I really need 10 pawpaws? And I kind of let them just kind of sit by the wayside. So here are a couple that I've let sit by the wayside as well. You can see that there is a, a stick here and there is another stick down here and uh, even though this pot here has been abused these are the exact same seedlings these seed these pawpaws just hang on look at the little green growth coming out of that and this will actually come back i have found so uh, here's another one in another pot that's been fairly abused but it's coming back these ones here were similar like sticks in the last few weeks and i gave them some rain this one here is one that was so neglected i didn't even realize it was in a pot it was still alive and this was a pawpaw and one of the things as I was repotting them, I found that they don't have a very large root system. Their root system isn't very fine, it's not very fragile, it's actually quite thick. It reminds me almost like, I don't know, a boab tree or something. So I'm going to tip this one out. It's actually quite wet in the base of this pond. As you can see, I'm, I'm treating it quite roughly because, as I said, I left this one for dead. So it's in a clump of dirt. You can see that it's got a tap root that comes down here and I'm just going to crumble all of that off. The root systems of these, very, very simple. So let's see if I can get that in focus. Not much to them. And this plant here, I'm going to put it into a larger pot. I'm going to cover it with soil, just like one of these size pots. And in a couple of weeks, I expect that this is going to become a full-size, happy, healthy pawpaw again, even though it was basically for weeks kept in a dry pot until I watered it this morning. So these American pawpaws, cold tolerant, obviously heat tolerant, abuse tolerant. 
I've got a big future ahead for these guys. I'm looking really forward to them. I don't know what I'm going to do with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 pawpaws. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But uh, let's keep an eye on these as we go along. American pawpaw, very resilient plant.